So, here welcome we to Austin. Thank you. It's good to be here. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we saw you do a lecture today. Uh, you, for people who might not have heard that lecture or heard of you before, uh, what's going on with you? Well, I <laughs> probably a lot of people have heard I've uh, been doing this Year Without God uh, blog and experience during 2014. And uh, back at the beginning of 2014, I had come to a place in my life where I was uh, sort of at the end of my rope when it comes to um, religion and my faith. I had been a pastor for about 20 years. And I just uh, decided I was going to take the next year of my life and really explore um, what atheism looks like, what the arguments are, what people who are atheists give as reasons why they've become atheists, and just explore that as a possible answer to the many questions that I had accumulated over 20 years of ministry and probably 40 years of being a Christian. So uh, in January of this, this year, I, uh, I decided that I was an atheist. And, um, and All right. uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's one of those big decisions in life, I guess. Um, and so now I've been in, in uh, San Antonio yesterday and Austin today. Uh, talking to a couple of different groups and uh, meeting new people and sharing my story. So, so um, when you started this Year Without God thing, uh, I guess a lot of people who had heard about you were a little suspicious <laughs> about whether you were just going to use it as, as like a, a way to showboat and go back and say, oh, I checked out atheism, all atheism has to offer and uh, definitely come back to Jesus. Yeah. Um, what were you thinking at the beginning? What I was, I guess what I was thinking was that I had this um, personal crisis in my own life and I needed a way to process through that. And so I, I was leaning atheist. I was leaning um, towards this idea that there isn't a God. I mean, it was the one thing that I hadn't really spent any time focused on in terms of how to make sense of the experiences that I had and the inconsistencies and um, the challenges that I had trying to fit uh, my lived experience of the world into a biblical Christian worldview. And I had been working at that theologically for a long time and uh, had resigned from my ministry in the Seventh-day Adventist Church about nine months prior. And uh, that gave me the space and the freedom and the mental sort of space to think about a different way of thinking about the world. And, uh, and so I was leaning atheist, but I really started that year hoping that I would figure out a way to believe in God. I mean, that was my background. That was my whole history. That was everything I had given my professional and academic life to. And uh, so the idea of starting over with a whole new way of looking at the world wasn't super attractive to me, but I did want to find the truth. I wanted to know the truth. and. Um, so that's kind of, kind of how I started the year. I hadn't done any research really preparing me for that year. I hadn't Googled all the atheist groups I could find to figure out what was going on. I really just ignorantly sort of stumbled into, I wonder if there are atheists out there talking about atheism. Let's go find <laughs> out. So um, that was did you actually have a hard time? Like, or, or I mean, you say that you weren't sure if you would find any atheists out there. Like, was this a surprise coming from your Seventh Day Adventist background that there were actually were groups of atheists who were talking to each other? A little bit. I mean, I, I expected that there would be um, atheists. Uh, I thought that there would be um, obviously people who didn't believe in God. I had experienced people in my own life that didn't believe in God, but I, I didn't as much have the sense that there were gatherings or conventions or organized groups. I, I was more familiar with the separation of church and state groups, um, and uh, the Adventist church actually is heavily invested in the separation of church and state, so that was familiar to me, but I wasn't as aware at, really at all that there were organized groups of free thinkers, skeptics, atheists that were meeting on a regular basis to kind of discuss how to advance this, these ideas. Hmm. So it was a little bit new to me. Cool. Um, well, I had some other questions, but I feel like our first caller is actually going to ask some of them for <clears> me. 